Oh, here I am at my uh, jacuzzi pond and you can hear there's an awful lot of lawnmowers and everything going off so I'm just going to wipe the lens always carry a lens cloth but uh, you can hear all sorts of lawnmowers on this uh, lovely summer day or late spring day if you like because we haven't we're not at the equinox yet or we're not at the summer solstice yet anyhow this is the jacuzzi pond and if you look closely you notice sorts of little bubbles and things actually there's a beetle that fell in unfortunately and it's chrysolina banksy which is a lovely little beetle looks like it's round but you notice all along here little bits where it's bubbling up and there's movement and if you have a little box look at that look see when I tap the sides of the see it's ripples everywhere but if I get my little box here like this you'll see it very dense with duckweed actually too much duckweed but I would say I need the duckweed I suspect and I think I'm gonna to have to remove some of that duckweed it's so thick oh you see all sorts of creatures different kinds of worms and things and you'll see those pond lice they're called they're actually like wood lice and they live under the water all sorts of interesting creatures here but uh, this is why you have to be careful if you let your dog drink out of it because there's uh, as there are worms that get in they come out of usually bird poo when the dog drinks the water it gets into the dog and dogs will come in and drink the water and my dog will drink the water so she has to be wormed regularly but underneath all that it's you can see it's dark like tea and that's good because it means it's not full of algae and here we have a parrot's feather which is actually an invasive species but I trim it it's an oxygenator, keeps oxygen in the pond. So it won't be long now before we have little froglets hopping on the top. Yeah. Now I think I've got a tadpole, have I? Oh look at you can actually see little worms. They're actually flat worms. And actually round worms. They live in ponds like that, free living. I, I think they, they don't actually need an intermediary host or anything, they just live there. There's some at the corner. They're actually related, they are related to the to the um, roundworms which infect dogs and things, but I don't think these ones do. I could be wrong though. But at certain times of the year you see them, at other times you don't. And so that's the pond. Exciting as usual, as always, you never know what's below the surface.